Alright YouTube, this is Caster Master, and as you can see I changed my play map. This is another map my friend Nick gave me, which is Red Dragon Archfiend, or Red Archfiend Duelist, or Red Dragon Duelist, some. But he gave it to me, we worked together. But uh, today I have a fun deck. I might start doing a schedule. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments below if you want to see a schedule, because I might do a schedule like Mondays be fun deck Monday, and like Wednesdays will be pack openings, or, and then Fridays and s Saturdays can be, uh, you know, tournament ready decks to play against. But uh, right now I'm gonna have, show you a fun deck. It's a, uh, it's link heavy. It's all about the links in this deck. There's no synchros, no XCs, no f pendulums, nothing. All it is is links. So, or it's link summoning stuff. So we have. Fireball Dragon, Deco Talker, Tri Wizard, two Inco Talkers, uh, alright I'm back, I had to go do something real fast, but anyway, so we had Inco Talker was the last one I said, then we have the newest cards, Flame Administrator, uh, Underclock Taker, then we have Binary Sorceress, Proxy Dragon, Link Bumper, Honeybot, Link Spider, and Link Spider. Alright, I forgot to put those away. Give me one second, sorry. I had another idea. So I added it and took some stuff out. Okay, anyways. Now, of course, you can't have a God deck without Obelisk. Alright, and as you see, there's BLS, so that means that this deck is going to have chaos in it. Because you're going to be link summoning, sending this stuff to the graveyard, you might as well have something to... Then we have three Ross Disciples, two Creation Venus, three Mystic Shine Balls, and one Backup cent uh, Secretary. Se yeah, Secretary. Huh. I was debating on running more of her, but I don't want to get too... Because uh, I think you can... You can only do it once per turn, so I mean, if I draw all three of them, then that makes no sense. Gofu. Uh, I'm going to show you why I put Resonators in here. Okay. Since there's no Synchros, you can summon her, bring him out, that's a Link 2. Right? And I did three of them because they can't be destroyed by battle. I also put a Sangin in here, so that you can go Normal Summon Her, Special Summon Him, Link 2, Effect... Curry Bandit, same, but his more really for the mill off. And then Hackworm. I put Hackworm in here just for, oh, you have a monster, you don't have any monsters? You know what I'm saying? Special summon, right? Now my spells. There's no traps in this deck, so I want it to go fast. Two my bodies as a shield to protect my stuff. Two photon leads to special summon lights. Two double summons. To use when I have to special uh, to normal summon uh, obelisk or something. Two card advances for the tributes of obelisk. Two mounds. I was gonna run three, but three just got too cloudy, and I had them in my hand. Two MSTs to destroy mound to get obelisk in my hand. One resonator call because that's all I found right now. I don't want to search through all my stuff. A reasoning. A monster reincarnation. Scapegoats. Fires of the Doomsday, Photon Sanctuary, yes, tokens, Terraforming, Soul Charge, and one time passcode. Because you can only activate that once per turn. I don't see that being really relevant. I mean, it's good for the Cybris thing. You have a Cybris out now, you special summon that girl in Link 2. But basically, my goal for this deck is to. Try to have the U. That's what I want to do with this deck. So that would be zone four, three, two, and then, you know, do the U. That's my goal for this deck. And have Obelisk, you know, because if people are worried about Obelisk less than the U, then, but let me know what you guys think. This is just for fun, so don't get all like, Super, oh gosh, that deck's not going to work. But um, it's for fun, because today's Monday, so I decided 
Monday shall be Fun Deck Monday. Fun Day Monday. And this is Caster Master signing off. Y'all have a nice day. Shout out to all my teammates and all my new friends I met over the weekend. Uh, I'm not going to say your name online, but uh, I met them at Clockworks and they're really good guys. And, it, and his wife. Really good people. Did some awesome trades. If y'all want to see what I have gotten, I could show you in picture form. But I will be, I'll be—I'll probably be able to do it in a video, but I have to search it all out. And I also did a really good job yesterday at the card shop. Because I went up there again to go get my keys. And uh, picked up tons of cards for four bucks. So, this is Casper signing off. Y'all have a nice day.